Welcome back to Julie's Reef Boutique and welcome back to my mess of ribbon here. This video, if you saw the title, it's Bow Making 101 or How to Make a Bow from Beginning to End. And it doesn't matter what level of crafter you're at, I'm gonna show you from very easy, you can't mess it up bow, to a little bit more advanced bow. And then I'm gonna show you how to use a bow maker that I love and recommend. So let's get started because the holidays are here and there's going to be a big need to decorate. And what do you need? You need to know how to make bows. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with the easiest bow first. And this bow is going to take, I'm gonna take two and a half inch wired ribbon. This is ribbon I purchased from Trendy Tree a while back and I really like it, it has a nice feel to it. And I, I went ahead and I cut two 14 inches and one 12 inch. Now, you just need one smaller than the other. One of these is gonna be for the tail, one is a loop and the second one is a loop, okay? So you just want one smaller than the other so that you can make the two size loops and then enough for a tail. So you could do it 10, 10, or 10 and two 12s, you know, whatever you wanna do, whatever, however big you want it. So we're just gonna take it and we're going to do a little bit of glue and we're just going to glue the ends together here. That's it, just be careful with your fingers. With that glue set up, I'm gonna do the same thing here. And this literally is a, a two minute bow. The, the, what takes so long with this bow is letting the glue dry. All right, so we're gonna have that set up. Okay, so when this is all nice and dry, you're just going to kind of flatten it a little bit and I'm gonna just flip it over. I'm gonna take my shorter one and I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm just gonna lay them on top of each other like so, all right? And you could even take a little bit, if you're worried about, about it moving, I'll just take a little bit of glue, just a dot, and I will put it in between. Remember, this is the, the bow that's easy and that anybody can make, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the middle of this bow and we're just going to kind of gather it. You're gonna like fold it over, all right? See that? So I have a little bow. All right, you could leave it at that if you didn't want to add a tail, but I'm going to add a tail and I'm going to see where the middle is and I'm just going to gather it and I'm going to put it on the back. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner here and I'm just going to go over it like so and I'm just going to pull it really tight and just twist it, all right? So when you look at your bow, you can just kind of move the tails down a little bit and you could be done at that point, all right? You could say, all right, that's good enough, but what could I do to add a little bit more? So I'm gonna just take a little bit of this ribbon and I'm gonna cut about six inches. I, don't, I won't need all of this. And then I'm just gonna cut it. This ribbon is really nice, so I'm just gonna cut a little straight piece here so that I don't even have to fold it over because the ribbon is that nice. Now, if the ribbon isn't really nice, if it's a little flimsy, then you may need to um, just fold it over. But I'm just gonna take my ribbon, I'm gonna go over top of the middle here, and then take your pipe cleaner and twist, okay? I'm gonna just trim off my little edges here. And now that is a simple bow that anybody can make. So what I'll do is I'm just going to, let's just dovetail these. What you do is you just fold them in and then you're just gonna cut out a V shape here on that side. And you can do this with all of your ribbons that we make today. And then another V. Now you gotta be careful, you don't wanna go cut the wrong way. So this is the easy, you don't have to hold anything. You can make a easy bow, simply and really pretty. Isn't that cute? So you can make this really big, 
you can make it really small, but that's just an easy, simple bow that the easy DIY person can do. Okay, so let's talk about the Mary Casey bow. That's what I call it because I showed you in a video last year and I will share that video in the description box below because I show you a few other bows that I'm not gonna show you today, um, especially with the bow maker I'm gonna use. So what we're gonna do is again, take that two and a half inch ribbon. I feel like the two and a half inch really is a nice size ribbon. So that's what we're gonna use. So we're gonna take and we're gonna make a loop, okay? So you just make one loop. All right, see how I'm holding that? And then I'm just going to gather it. I'm gonna hold it with my thumb. All right, so what do we have the issue right now? Is that the back side of the ribbon isn't the same as the front side, so we have to twist. So this is what you need to remember. Every time you come back to the center of your bow, you're going to twist so that you're showing the, the front of the ribbon. Now, if you're using ribbon and it doesn't matter each side, if, if it's the same on both sides, you don't have to, you can skip the step, step altogether. Just make sure you're holding it with your two fingers, all right? So I'm. let's just go ahead and we'll, we'll measure. You don't have to measure, I typically don't, but um, let's just measure about six inches for the next bow because we wanna gradually get these bigger and bigger. So there's six. So I'm coming back to the middle and I'm gathering it here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to twist it. All right. So that is the key there. You're going to twist it. So let's do the same on the other side. I'm going to take another six inch length just about and I'm going to come back and I'm going to gather again and I'm going to twist it. It's important to show the right color of the ribbon. So now at this point, I kind of go in a direction. I'm gonna go off the side of my bow. So I'm gonna do about seven inches this time. And again, this doesn't have to be really that precise, but that's what I'm going in my head. So I'm gonna get back to the middle. I'm going to twist it as I'm gathered it with my thumb. So if you see my thumb and my, my three fingers here are still holding it. So we did seven inches there. So I'm gonna add another seven inches, okay? And I'm just using my mat and we're just kind of eyeballing it. It's not perfect. So as you can see, I went this way and now I went the opposite way diagonally, okay? So now I'm gonna go this way. And again, I'm gonna make it seven inches. So this one we did six, this one we did seven, and this one I didn't even measure. I just said, oh, that loop looks good. So <laughs> I didn't have a real rhyme or reason. So remember, I needed to twist. So I'm gonna measure seven inches roughly and I'm going to make a loop. All right, so there we go, we got a loop. So now we're gonna go on this side and go this way. So I'm going to pull it and I'm gonna twist it again. Remember, I gotta keep that twist and I'm gonna add another seven inches. All right, so we come back to the middle and it's starting to look good and you could just keep repeating this step. This is a really simple way to make a bow. And at this point, I'm gonna make two more loops on the side and they're gonna be a little bit bigger. So now I'm gonna do an eight inch loop here. So I'm gonna measure it out here. So that's about eight inches. So I need to make sure that my right, right ribbon is showing the right way. I'm just looking at my board here. Now this ribbon came from the wreath shop. It's really nice ribbon, okay? So we get back in the middle, twist it, and do our loop. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good. So at this point, I just take this and I just th think about, okay, how big do I want my tails? And I would say about that much. So I'm just going to twist to keep that ribbon showing. And then I'm gonna, let's just cut off some here. It's a little bit easier just to do this and put it to the side. So I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna add my, my end to here and I'm gonna just keep it all together. Now, this, is a, this could be a little difficult if you have um, arthritis issues or whatnot, but um, it, it, it can be done. So 
if you take a piece of wire or you take a piece of like a pipe cleaner or something, you're going to go under um, through the loops and you're just going to pull it and twist it. So you just twist it around and then that way that'll be nice and secure. All right, so at this point, you're just going to fix your little loops and you're gonna cut your bow, your tails, I should say, and just make them any way you want. So I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna put a little, oops, look how bad I cut those. <laughs> I cut those really bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it at an angle here at each side and I think that'll be really pretty. So that is the Mary Casey bow. She taught me how to make a bow like that. Oh my goodness, from ever since I can remember. So let's work on the next one. Okay, so we're gonna start on another bow and I'm gonna use some fun Christmas ribbon that I did get at um, the Reef Shop. All my links are down in the box below. Um, but I'm going to do this one. We're going to do three different bows and then we're going to assemble them so that you're not holding a bunch of stuff at once, but you can kind of zip tie off one bow and say, okay, now I can work on the next one. So what you're going to do is I'm going to take, let me trim this little wires are showing. Um, I'm going to trim this and I want, let's see, we want a tail. So I want to keep my tails pretty consistent. And so sometimes I add, I add more to my tail than I know that I will want. So we're going to add 12 inches for the tail. So this is, this is our starting point. So I've got 12 inches this way. I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to gather it. Okay. Let's turn it over this way. Now I'm going to take, I want to keep that the right side up. And so I'm going to measure 11 inches with this one. And we're going to call this our 11 inch bow. And I'm going to fold it in the middle. All right, do you see what I'm doing there? Okay. So I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm just going to, I just kind of flip it over. And I want to do another 11 inches. So I'm going to measure 11 inches on my board here, because I, I know where I need to be. I'm gonna gather it, and then I'm gonna fold it over. So I know that I have two 11 inch bows on each side there, okay? We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna measure another 11 inches from where I'm holding it. I'm gonna gather it and bring it in, all right? Again, we're gonna do the same step. It's really not that hard to do. You just have to know how big you want the bow and so forth. All right, so that's 11 inches. All right, so I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm gonna just zip tie this right in the center here because we can always take the zip tie off. But this is, if you have like a good like chip clip or clothes, you know, what are those clothes pens or, you know, you hang them up your laundry pens, you could do that. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut it the same spot. Okay, and so that's the base of our bow. All right, I really like that. I think that's really pretty. So now we're gonna take this white and buffalo check gingham and we're gonna we're going to do the exact same thing as we did on the other one, but we're gonna do 10 inch loops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure my tail, which is 12 inches, okay? Remember, we try to keep the tails the same. And I'm going to gather, and I'm gonna measure 10 inches, and I'm gonna gather and bring it together, all right? I'm going to twist it. I'm going to get another 10 inches and go here. Oops. All right. I'm going to get another 10 inches. Oh, I need to twist that a little bit more. Um, and bring it back to the center. And then we're going to get another 10 inches. And add it 
to our center. Let's just make sure it all looks about right. All right. So I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to put the zip tie on and then you can kind of straighten out your bows. All right. So now we're going to set this one aside and work on the final bow and then we'll put them all together. Okay, so for the final bow, we're going to use the smaller red. Now the two ribbons we used before is um, are two and a half inches and this is a 1.5 inch. So it's just an inch smaller. So again, I'm going to cut off that part there and then I'm going to measure another 12 inches for the tail and that's going to be our starting point. Now with this ribbon, there is a diff there is a side you can tell this is the better side, so we want to keep that consistent. So now I'm going to do this at 9 inches. So we did 11 inches, 10 inches, and now we're doing 9 inches because we're just kind of going in ever so slightly, okay? So we want to measure 9 inches. So I'm gathering here, bring it together. Again, 9 inches. Like that's the underside, so we're gonna go over top here. All right. Nine inches. I'm gonna come over top. Now I'm gonna do this three times. Instead of two on each side, we're gonna do three, okay? We're gonna meet there. And just do three. I mean, you could do two. You don't have to do three, but I'm just going to do three to, to give it something different here. Alrighty. So at this point, I'm going to take another zip tie and I'm going to just try to hold that together. All right. Cut our, our ends. Okay, so now we're going to just kind of straighten everything out. I'm going to get it to where we want it, and then we are going to put them all together. So this is kind of a layered bow. It's a layered look, but if you don't want to add, if you don't want to, you know, do three, hold three things of ribbon in your hand at once, and you're trying to get that, that nice look, this is just kind of an alternative. So I'm gonna take, bring these back in. Okay, so we're gonna work with our base, which is our really pretty gray ribbon. And then we're gonna take our white ribbon and we're gonna go on top of that. All right. And then we're gonna take our red and we're gonna go on top of that. Now, at this point, you could take, oh, um, a wire, another pipe cleaner or another, um, zip tie, but I'm going to just take this wire and I'm just going to go over top of all three of those bows. All right. Oops. I need to bring this one in a little bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull it and I'm going to twist. All right. So at this point, if you want to cut off all of those zip ties, you can, because now the wire is holding everything in, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so what do we wanna do for the middle? I kind of like the thought of bringing that bottom color back in or this white color. So let me grab, ooh, you know what? I kind of like this. I have this black velvet ribbon. Again, I got this at the reshop too, and I think I wanna add that. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty. So we're gonna just cut off about, you're gonna need more, so let's just cut off about 10 inches there here. And I'm just going to fold this over. Let's we'll see if we could do that, but I think this is gonna look better. So I'm just going to go over it like so. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And again, make sure one wire is that way. Gotta move the other wire this way. And that way you can kind of 
put them in between. So I, so I'm pulling this way, one wire is that direction, one wire is the other direction. And now we're just going to pull real good and we're going to just twist. And then we've got um, a way to put our ribbon on whatever wreath or, or tree or whatever you wanna put it on. So I'm just gonna trim these little black extras here off. But anyways, so when did you start crafting? I know I asked this in the video where I did this um, bow making before, but did your, did you have a grandmother that got you into crafting? Did you have a mom like I did? Where did your love of crafting start? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your replies. So I think that's pretty. And then you just take your ribbons down here and you're just gonna cut them whether you want to do like a dovetail or you want to do um, angles. I think I'm gonna do angles cause it's just, I don't know. That's kind of like what I like. So I'm just gonna do some angles. I turn this over. And then this is a really pretty bow. Now, if you wanna do like a bow topper, you could definitely do this, but just make your loops bigger, okay? And you could definitely do two of these bows and then kind of put them back to back on your tree. And I think that would be pretty too. So again, we're just cutting these. I'm not being too particular, but I think that is really pretty. I love how the red, you know, kind of pops the color there. I mean, if you wanted to, you could do three bows or three loops and three loops and two loops. Just have fun with it. It's, it's not, it shouldn't be intimidating. You can do this. Okay, I wanna show you something I've been doing for years, literally years. This is what I'm gonna show you right here is what I do on my Christmas tree. I like to have like little bows with an ornament um, in the center of the bow to decorate my tree. And I'll, I'll get some ribbon that I like, and I like this ribbon. This is one of my favorites at Christmas time. But um, I like to make lots of bows. I'll probably make maybe 15 of these little bows and put them throughout my tree. So let's just see, it's so simple. This is so easy to do. It's kind of like a bow tie bow. And again, it's just really easy. I'm gonna cut off a little bit of that there. Let's, so we wanna start with the tail. So let's start with like an eight inch tail. So I'm just going to leave eight inches. I'm gonna trim it up, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna take another eight inch. This is gonna be our eight, 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 our eight times four bow, let's just say that. <laughs> I just did this in a video, I think it was last week. Um, so we're gonna take another eight inches. We're going to meet in the middle, all right? Come on, and this is basically what we just did, but um, I just wanna show you how you can make something really, really simple and really, really easy. So we're gonna just take another eight inches and meet in the middle again, because this is um, one-sided bow or one-sided ribbon, we're going to need to twist a little bit here, okay? So you could leave it at that and then add an ornament in the middle, okay? That's what you could do. I typically always add one more loop, so let's just do another eight inches. Bring it in the middle, and another eight. And we're gonna meet it in the middle here. All right. And then let's cut off eight inches here. So literally eight times eight, or eight times four, I should say. No, eight times six on this one. <laughs> No, eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Julie, okay, I'm not losing it, I promise. So you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna lay it in the middle. I'm going to just twist it. And then I'm just gonna fluff my bow here. These shouldn't take you very long to do. All right. And now, how am I gonna add my pretty little ornaments? Okay. So I'm gonna bring my pipe cleaners up and I'm just gonna add one here. 
Mm, let's do this one. These are just little plastic ornaments. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. I think these came from um, Michael's. And then I'm going to, you know what? I think we could add one more on this one, actually. Depending on your ornaments and what you're using, you know. And then I'm just going to take it back and I'm going to twist it again. And I have a cute little bow for my tree. And I just like to add these. I think this just adds a little something extra. I'm gonna do it at an angle, or you could do a dovetail. Oh, that looks a little, a little off. But I just think these are cute. These don't need to be perfect because you're gonna put them on your tree and the way they hang. But I think that's cute. You've added a little bit of um, ornaments and something pretty and special to put on your tree. Okay, so let's talk about the bow maker I like. I like Pro Bow the Hand. This is the large model. Um, I purchased it from Amazon. I will leave you my Amazon link for the Pro Bow the Hand in the description box below. It's also in my Amazon shop under wreath making must have list. And though that list has everything I use from my glue gun to my wire cutters to my mat, everything that I like to use. So what are we going to need to get started? Well, I like this method. Now, in my other video that I did that will I'll leave a link in the description box below, I show you how to make the bow I put on my Christmas trees that I sell. And I show you the bows that I put on my snowmen that have the hats and I put a little um, a bow. So I have like a special, Regina Sellers is the pro bow inventor and she calls them recipes. So that's, those are my two um, recipes. And so if you have this, I strongly suggest you watch that video. I'll put the timestamps in the, underneath the video link to show you when I start the pro bow, if that's all you're wanting to learn from that other video. So what I like about this recipe, this is probably one of her, um, first recipe she's ever done, but um, it is three ribbons together. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use, this is your um, ribbon holder. So I wanna make sure you can see that. It has three spools. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. I'm going to take my red ribbon, I'm gonna put that in the middle. And as you can see, my ribbon is coming to the, oh, you can't see, I got a, move this over. As you can see, my ribbon is coming to the right of my spool holder. And then I'm going to use this really cute ribbon um, with the little trees and I like the little fur. Now these two came from the reshop. I believe this is from Hobby Lobby. So we'll see how that goes. I prefer the reshop and trendy trees ribbon, but um, the quality is just different. Even the stuff you can get at Sam's Club, it's nice. It's good to start. And, um, you know, if you don't have um, a, a big budget or, you know, sometimes using that ribbon is a great way to start because Sam's Club will sell like 50 yards for like seven or eight bucks. Um, so where are we going to start? So I have the bigger fingers here that she calls them. Um, the, the original one comes with the smaller ones, but honestly, I don't know where I put them. And that's really my only excuse right now. So I'm going to put one in the C spot here. This is like, this is your base and you have rows. You have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. So we're going to work on row C. So I'm going to put one in the center of row C, and then I'm going to add two more on each side of that. Okay. So that's all we're going to need. I'm going to grab a piece of my wire and I want to say this is 22 gauge or 24 gauge. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to take my ribbon. I'm going to, let's wrap this back up a little bit more. I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to just layer it like so. Okay. So this way we have all three pieces here. So here's the first step. We're going to take our three pieces and I probably should probably cut the wires sticking out from my ribbon here so they don't poke me. I've already had a little bit of a <laughs> battle with a wreath this week, as you can see, and I'm just going to 
take this and I'm going to gather it at the ends there. I'm gonna take my wire and I'm going to take it and I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna wrap it like three times, all right? One, two, three, all right? So that way we know it's not going anywhere, all right? So let me move this back down shot is going to not have the ribbon in it as much but this is what's important right here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this around and we are going to have the ribbon down here and i want to put that first one over just loosely and not tightly okay and i'm going to bring where the wire is gathered here right here okay now, it's important you don't take this all the way down. We wanna keep it in the middle. And I'm going to wrap on top here. And then there's a little nail at the bottom of your probo, and you're just gonna wrap it there, and then I just kinda of stick my little end underneath the probo. Now, Julie, why do you use a probo, or why do you use a bow maker? Because when I'm making things for like the Christmas trees and different projects, it just, number one, is easy. When I go to church and decorate for Christmas every year, it just knocks it out in no time. And it's really easy on my hands. I have tendinitis that I've just found out recently in my hands. And it's actually bothering me today. So this is really makes it so easy. So um, it is a little bit of an investment, but it by hand, by all means, if I can speak today right now, Julie, um, I really like it, and I really love Regina. I just I just think she's a great lady. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to come, and we're going to meet right here. All right? Now, we need to gather this. All right? And right here, what we're going to do is we are going to do what she calls bottoms up. So what I do is I go like this. So the bottom of the ribbon is showing because we want to make sure that the top of the um, like this printed ribbon is showing. So now we're just going to take it and we're going to go over the next finger. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to gather it and then twist it. So the bottom is showing. Just pull gently. This is some really thick ribbon here. And you're going to put it over the next finger, okay? Now, I'm not pulling this too tight because I want to be able to take this off. So we go back to the center here. I'm going to twist it again. And then we're just going to go over top of this one, come back, gather, and twist it up again. And that's all there is to it. So now I'm going to gather it right here. All right. I'm going to take my top wire and I'm going to unravel it here. I'm going to take the bottom one. I'm going to undo that one. And now I'm going to just, just pull it as tight as I can. It's not too bad. I'm just going to twist it. And then I'm just going to gently take it up. All right. So there. We're not done yet. We got to fluff it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, oh, if you want, you could, you know, I'm just going to leave it with three. I don't know. Let's go ahead and add. We're going to add a little bit. We're going to just make three layers of tails coming out. So I'm just going to cut it right here. All right. So at this point, you could get the fluff box out and you could um, put it on a fluff box if you have that, but you don't have to have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm just gonna simply pull the ribbons out. Okay. So if I pull it out this way, the next one I wanna pull out, I wanna just change the look of the ribbon. So the way that they come out. All right, so now I think I wanna add, make sure that's in the center. So let's pull out this one over here and this one over here. All right, so let's go over here. Kinda pull. And you can just like, what, what, whatever you like is all that matters.
So that is taking three ribbons and making a really pretty bow that you could use on a Christmas tree, you could use on a present. My goodness, you could do it on a basket for Christmas, um, just as an accent for so many things. And then let's just fluff these out here. I think these need to be the dovetail. What do you guys think? So you're just gonna play with it. So you get it the way you want it. So I'm gonna do dovetails on this. This could be on a beautiful boxed ribbon. But I think that's really pretty. I really love this ribbon. I think it's really pretty. Again, the red is from Hobby Lobby and the rest was from a wreath shop. And I just think that's pretty. And you could add more ribbon. You could add, we could add some more tails and add a little bit more. You could just take um, a little bit longer and just, go where this is and just grab it, twist it, and you can make more tails. So anyways, I just don't want to use all the ribbon because I have a plan for this for a wreath and a sign. So I want to save some of my ribbon. <laughs> I think it's pretty. You're just going to play with it. And I love the fur on the ribbon. So pretty. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it'll help you in the upcoming holidays and all the decorating and all the bows that need to be made. Make sure you leave me a smiley face if you made it all the way through this video. And make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. So until next time, we'll see you later in Julie's Wreath Boutique.